The Armed Forces of the Philippines is undertaking a 15-year modernization program that started in 2012 and will continue through 2028. The revised Armed Forces of the Philippines modernization program is divided into three horizons. The first was implemented from 2013 to 2017, second is from 2018 to 2022 while the third is from 2023 to 2028 with total projected cost of 40 billion US dollars. The US is a primary supplier of defense equipment to the Philippines, but faces stiff competition from Israel, South Korea, Italy, Spain, France, Sweden, Germany, and India. China and Russia are also gaining momentum in the market. In this video, we have categorized 10 weapons, which will be part of Philippine Armed Forces, by the end of 2028. Number 10. K-136 Multiple Launch Rocket System. Republic of Korea will supply the Philippines, the K-136, Kuryong Multiple Launch Rocket System in June this year. 22 multiple launch rocket system units will be delivered to the Philippines, which the Philippine Army and Marine Corps will use. The launch station consists of 36 tubes for 130mm caliber rockets, arranged in a rectangular shape that rotates on its axis. The K-136 multiple launch rocket system can fire two types of unguided rockets, including the standard K-30 version, which has a maximum firing range of 23 km, and the upgraded K-33 model up to a range of 36 km. Both can be equipped with two types of warheads, including conventional high explosive and prefragment high explosive by containing steel balls. Number 9. Sabra Panda 2. The Philippine Army is expected to receive 10 new Israeli defense manufacturer, Elbit Systems Land Sabra Ascod wheeled light tanks or tank destroyers, which are expected to greatly enhance its armor capabilities. Israeli company Elbit Systems has designed a new light that is available in two configurations, including a tracked variant based on the General Dynamics European Land Systems Ascod 2 and a wheeled version based on the wheeled Panda 28 x 8 platform, manufactured by Excalibur Army from the Czech Republic. These vehicles will comprise the planned 1st Tank Battalion of the Philippine Army Armor Division. The contract is worth around Philippine Peso 9.4 billion, and was acquired via government-to-government -government mode. Number 8. ATMOS 2000. In May 2022, Army Recognition has reported that the Philippines Department of National Defense has released the notice to proceed for the acquisition of two batteries of Elbit Saltam ATMOS 155mm, under the service's 155mm Howitzer self-propelled system acquisition project for the Philippine Army. The first batch of eight, ATMOS 2000, 155 mm self-propelled howitzers has arrived in the Philippines according to officials. The Philippines is now the second country in Asia to use the Israeli-made ATMOS 2000. In fact, Thailand ordered in 2012, six ATMOS 2000 155 mm self-propelled guns, to be delivered between 2014 and 2015. Number 7. Elbit Hermes 900. The Philippine Air Force has selected the Elbit Hermes 900 medium altitude, long endurance unmanned aerial system as one of the two UAS models, ordered as part of their unmanned aerial systems acquisition project, under the Horizon 2 phase of the revised Armed Forces Philippine Modernization Program. The Hermes 900 will become the most advanced unmanned aerial vehicle, with the Armed Forces of the Philippines once it becomes operational. A total of 13 unmanned aerial vehicles were said to have been delivered, under the contract worth approximately $175 million. The drones manufactured by Israel's Elbit can be utilized for surveillance or search and rescue missions. Number 6. HDC 3100 Corvette. The Philippines Department of National Defense has ordered two new guided missile corvettes for the Philippine Navy from South Korea naval shipbuilder. Hyundai Heavy Industries on the 15th of December 2021. 
According to Philippine Defense Page Max Defense Philippines, Hyundai Heavy Industries has offered their HDC 3100, which is small warship designed to meet the Corvette requirements of the Philippine Navy. It also reported that, the Corvette acquisition project of the Philippine Navy is valued at around 550 million US dollars. This project divided into lots for the warship and weapon launchers and the munitions. It is expected, Hyundai Heavy Industries would start building the ships by third quarter of 2022, and complete the first ship of the class by second quarter of 2024. Number 5. Jose Rizal Class Frigates. The Philippine Navy ordered a class of, two Jose Rizal Class multi-mission capable frigates from South Korean, shipbuilding company Hyundai Heavy Industries, under the Frigate Acquisition Project, which is aimed at protecting the country's territorial waters. The first steal for the lead ship, the RP Jose Rizal, FF-150, was cut in May 2018, and it was commissioned by the Philippine Navy in July 2020. Number 4. Spider Air Defense System. Israeli Rafael Advanced Defense System is supplying Spider a ground-based air defense system to the Philippines, worth 141 million US dollar. The Philippines selected the Israeli company to supply much-needed equipment to the Philippine Air Force. According to the Max Defense blog, the delivery of three batteries of Rafael's Spider ground-based air defense system to the Philippine Air Force began in early 2021 and will complete by the end of 2022. It also estimated these developments mean that the Air Force is getting closer to having a ground-based air defense missile system to defend critical air bases and other interests. Number 3. BrahMos Missile System. In a major boost to its defense export plans, India has signed a $375 million deal to export the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile to the Philippines. According to the Philippines Defense Secretary, Delphin Lorenzona, they had sent a written request to the BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited to accept a proposal to buy three batteries of the supersonic missile system for $375 million. Each battery comprises two missile launchers, a radar and a command and control center, and can fire two missiles within 10 seconds. This is the first major military export by India. This supersonic missile is an India-Russia joint venture, which can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft, or from land platforms. Number 2. T-129 ATAK Helicopters. Turkey has delivered two T-129 ATAK helicopters to the Philippine Air Force, in its first delivery to a foreign country. The attack helicopters were inducted into the Philippine Air Force, after undergoing technical inspection and successfully passing flight tests. The Philippines has six helicopters on order, under a $269 million government-to-government -government contract with Turkey, that was signed in July 2020. The acquisition program is part of the Horizon 2 phase of the Philippines' military modernization plan. These helicopters are manufactured by Turkish Aerospace Industries, based on the Augusta Westland A129 Mangusta design. The new halos will be assigned to the Philippine Air Force's 15th Strike Wing. The delivery date was pushed from September to November, and then to December 2021, with the final pair scheduled for delivery in early 2023. Number 1. F-16 Fighting Falcon. F-16 The State Department has made a determination approving a possible foreign military sale to the government of the Philippines of F-16 Block 7072 aircraft and related equipment for an estimated cost of $2.43 billion. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency delivered the required certification notifying Congress of this possible sale. The government of the Philippines has requested to buy 10 F-16C Block 7072 aircraft two F-16D Block 7072 aircraft. The proposed sale will improve the Philippines' capability to meet current and future threats by enabling the Philippines to deploy fighter aircraft with precision munitions in support of counter-terrorism operations in the southern Philippines, as well as it will support the foreign policy 
and national security of the United States by helping to improve the security of a strategic partner that continues to be an important force for political stability, peace, and economic progress in Southeast Asia.